Mm-hmm. Because we can hear Shakti, 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 Pad, Shakti, Pad more and more. We can hear yeah. about this kind of uh, energy transfer, even in popular media. So I would like to clarify uh, a bit uh, to all the people who are currently listening to us. So to yep. which tradition Shaktipad um, yes. uh, Shakti, yeah, is connected to? Yeah, Shaktipad, there are, there are various uh, transfers mm-hmm. from a guru to a disciple or from higher to lower or from uh, uh, master to disciple. Any, in, any, in different ways, there are transfers. But that's the fundamental is that even when I'm speaking to you, there is an energy transfer. Mm -hmm. When two people meet and communicate, when they have eye contact, there's already an energy transfer. So this is a channelized energy transfer. So there is a thing called pranapath, which is basically we have five moving energies. Energy moves in five directions to stabilize our life. That is the functional pranas. Prana means energy that moves in, in five different directions to stabilize our equilibrium. Or, or life mm-hmm. the, the, to stabilize that to align that we call pranapath then shaktipath is that there is a shakti the energy shakti means uh, a power energy inside us which is latent and activation of shakti is what we call shaktipath which activates you so that you reach higher levels of awareness also experience experiencing the the higher Let's, let's say higher, nor, uh, I mean, in uh, spiritual terms, there are various things to told, but let's say higher means not the usual awareness level, higher awareness level where you are in, in a state of awareness of consciousness. Consciousness means pure energy operating the entire universe. So my Shaktipat is different. What I'm delivering to people is also alignment, not activation. I do not activate because activation needs supervision. If you're activating somebody, activating the energy, you need to supervise them. Otherwise, if they cannot handle it, they will they will probably have the opposite experience of what we expect, mm-hmm. such as elevated awareness. They could have traumatic experience. So mm-hmm. I don't go to that. Whatever Shaktipat is a transfer of energy, I do it on the third eye to align you. Third, this is a seat of 72,000 meridians moving in the body. So I, I transfer it here. So it completely overhauls. It removes the car, the the junk, which is the emotional junk inside. And uh, it kinds of cleanses you up. Mm-hmm. And uh, not in one time. Sometimes it takes time because we have collected it over time. One day you cannot change anybody. So my uh, Shaktipat is for alignment and it was working wonderfully. In those days, people used to come for that, uh, etc. Nowadays, I don't do too many things because I'm not in one country for long Mm -hmm. so activity public public activity also reduced a little bit or increased in a in a more broader sense so that is shakti then there's another thing called shivapath shivapath means transferring what you are into another Mm -hmm. even as a unit or uh, completely so when a guru or a or a high master used to leave they used to transfer this to somebody who's completely empty completely what he is or what his consciousness entails that's completely transferred to somebody who's receptive reception reception simply means eligibility simply means you are empty you are completely empty and open so that you can be the other so this is shivapat shivapat i I used to do earlier means i used to give a piece of my consciousness to people but then i found that many people don't have the maturity to handle it they get excited or they get, uh, you know, sometimes disaligned in that way mm-hmm. because they become emotional or they become, they try to misuse it. So I don't, I don't do that anymore. So all these aspects uh, we have in our system. But Shakti worship is usually connected to the Dasha Maha, 10 Maha Vidyas. Shakti is simply the moving energy, the spirit aspect, which is moving energy aspect. We have it. And soul is connected to the immovable universal energy aspect soul is connected because soul is eternal it cannot be destroyed it is always existing when it leaves the body like we know that uh, it's a marriage between gross and the subtle life is a marriage between gross and the subtle gross means physical body mind intellect ego Uh, subtle means spirit and soul they come together we call it life when they separate we call it death So awareness of the moving energy within is the worship of Shakti. Mm -hmm. And there is a moving energy in the whole whole cosmos, whole universe. 
that is how the yantras you, you must have seen there are designs and circuits which uh, people worship they represent the how the energy moves in the entire cosmos mm -hmm. so people great masters through awareness have found all these things they have clarity about all these uh, how the energy works within the body and outside the body and it's pretty much the same if if there are 72000 nadis meridians operating in our system energizing our entire body use use uh, making our whole infrastructure like the organs and the circuits all function similarly there is something going on in the universe as well and everything everything is living beings all are living uh, whether it is matter or non matter all are all are living beings everything has energy when there is energy there is always uh, frequency and every every aspect of creation is another representation of another frequency so thousands and thousands and millions of frequencies they are all existing in the world so our uh, point is that we are not one dimensional unidimensional we are multi dimensional we have we have much more scope than we think we are but unfortunately we are addicted to one personality one system and we think okay this is it and then that's covered and coated by emotions ownerships this is mine this is yours so all these things are locking us blocking us so shakti worship i don't promote because shakti worship is activation mostly and activation needs supervision kundalini activation yeah so i do i don't promote it not because it's bad it needs supervision and i'm not in one place more, more time when i'm in one place we will do so many things